Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. In this video, we will see how to create a template for the single blog post using Elementor. On this website, we are using Elementor and Elementor Pro and the theme is Astra. So this is the default layout of the single blog post. Now we are going to change the layout of the single blog post and we are going to create a new layout like this. Here you will see the title of the blog post, the information about the blog post. This is the featured image. This is the content and this is the sidebar. You can see the navigation to the previous or the next blog post and this is the comment section. So using Elementor, we are going to change the layout of the single blog post and we are going to make it look much better than the default layout of the single blog post. So let's see how does this work. I'm already logged in to the dashboard of this website and we are going to create a template for the single blog post. So we are using Elementor and Elementor Pro on this website. So under Elementor, you will see templates. Okay, so now go to save templates. So there is no template saved on this website. So we are going to create a new template. So click on add new. And here you will see the option to select, select single post as we are going to create a template for the single post. So click on single post and name it as single post. If you want to change the name, you can change the name also. Click on create template. Now here you will see some predefined blog post templates. You can choose any one of them. If you have pro version, you can select any one of them and you can use that template for the single blog post. However, in this case, we are going to create a new template. So let's close it. Now here you will see the options that you can include to the single blog post template. So let's add a new section. We are going to create from the scratch. Let's add single column. Let's add some padding here. So we are doing it manually. Now, let's add a new section here. We are creating inner section. Here we are going to add the featured image of this blog post. Have some settings so you can see that this is the featured image okay now we are going to add the title here so this is the post title drag and drop it here okay, now let's align it to the center so to the middle so this column is set to vertical align middle. Okay, now let's add some color to this column. So these are basically the style sections of this blog post. Add some padding also. Change the color of the title. Let's reduce the size. Okay, so we, we have got the title of the blog post and this is the default featured image of the blog post. Let's add post info. So we have got the post info let's change the color okay you can see all the information now here let's change the icon of icon color also okay so all the information is here so this is you can see here the author this is the date of the publish when the post has been published this is the time when the post has been published and these are the number of comments right now there are no comments so it shows no comments so we have got the title and the post info and this is the featured image now let's add some more section two columns we are going to add a sidebar here okay so let's add let's look for sidebar and drag and drop it here 
now let's choose the sidebar we are going to use one of the sidebars from here let's use the WooCommerce sidebar and here we are going to add the post content all right so all the post content is here the WooCommerce sidebar is here now after that create add a new column and here we can add let's say post navigation so it will show the next post or the previous post you can also customize this one right now let's add one more column and here we are going to add the post comment okay now let's publish it here it will ask you to add the condition so click on add condition and include for all post all and save and close Okay, now let's refresh it and let's see how does this look. Now here you will see the title, the post info, the featured image. And this is all about the post content. Here is the navigation and this is the comment section. Now let's see, we do not see the WooCommerce sidebar here. So let's change that to another one. Or you can go to the widgets and add the sidebar. Let's add the product sidebar updated let's refresh it okay it seems that we do not have anything in the sidebar change it to main sidebar update it now here you will see the sidebar is there let's refresh it okay so the sidebar is here now if you want to customize you can also customize the sidebar let's add some padding here I'm going to add some padding and add the border all right now let's have it uh, full width okay let me delete the padding here we are going to change this style now let's make it full width column gap no gap update it and refresh it all right now let's make some other changes We need some padding here. So let's add some padding, the top padding. Update it. Now let's refresh it. All right, so you can see that we have made changes. Let's make it center aligned. we have got your center aligned now click update now you can play with the settings of the sections and you will be able to change the layout of the single blog post let me change this one let's see how does this look we are going to add some background color here so you can see that we have changed the background color of this navigation also click update and click refresh so here is the new layout for the single blog post we have got the title the post info the featured image is also here we have got the sidebar also the navigation for the previous and next blog post this is the comment section 
So this is how you can play with the settings of the template and you can create beautiful templates for the single blog post. Now in the next video, we will see how to create a blog page for the website and how to arrange all the blog posts on a single blog page. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.